Vroom, vroom. Welcome to Revline 89. Today, today is the do's and don'ts of an aftermarket hood. If it's fiberglass or metal or what's what's the other ones? Fiber it's fiberglass, metal metal. What is true is it true fiber? I forget the different <laughs> the different ones. Anyway, this is a fiberglass hood and have some things garages don't understand is you don't close a fiberglass hood like you would a stock hood why well because they're lighter they're much lighter than your stock hood so the do's and don'ts do not slam the hood down all you have to do with an aftermarket hood if i can actually uh do this with one hand here so for an aftermarket hood you take it you pull it down slowly hear the click and then you press down to latch it that's what you do to close an aftermarket hood to know if it's an aftermarket hood is pretty 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 common sense if the hood's not flat or have a fake hood scoop on it it's pretty pretty good sign that it's an aftermarket hood so please please people especially if you're a mechanic stop slamming the hoods down it's it's not cool nobody likes it number two if it is a fiberglass hood or a lighter hood and not steel or a metal hood you definitely probably want hood pins now for us, it latches and everything's fine, but without hood pins on the highway, it would pull up the one side a little bit and I, it just scared me. I did not like that. And the problem is a lot of guys get aftermarket hoods that are light and they don't do hood pins and they think, okay, the latch is gonna latch and that's fine, that's all I need. Well, I've heard stories of people's hoods flying up on the highway, breaking their windshield, some have even lost their hood because it snapped and broke off. I can't imagine dealing with that. That would be a nightmare. So please, please get hood pins to be safe. 